The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 5080 Ti is one of the most talked about upcoming graphics cards. While not officially announced yet, many leaks and rumors give us an idea of what to expect. In today's video, we will talk about all the design, features, performance, and other details of the RTX 5080 Ti. So, without further delay, let's get straight into it. The RTX 5080 Ti is expected to have a sleek and modern design, similar to other cards in the RTX 50 series. It may come with a dual slot cooler, making it more compact than some previous high-end models. This design choice could help with better airflow and easier installation in various PC cases. The card will likely feature the standard set of display outputs, including HDMI and DisplayPort connections, allowing users to connect multiple monitors or high-resolution displays. One of the standout features of the RTX 5080 Ti is it's rumored to come with 24 gigabits of GDDR7 memory. This is a significant increase compared to the 16 gigabits found in the standard RTX 5080. The larger memory size will be beneficial for gaming at 4K resolutions and for tasks that require handling large amounts of data, such as video editing or 3D rendering. The memory is expected to have a 384-bit bus width, providing a memory bandwidth of approximately 1,384 gigabits per second. This high bandwidth will allow for faster data transfer between the GPU and memory, resulting in smoother performance in demanding applications. The RTX 5080 Ti is rumored to have 18,432 CUDA cores. CUDA cores are responsible for processing tasks on the GPU, and a higher number generally means better performance. With this many cores, the RTX 5080 Ti should handle modern games and applications with ease, providing high frame rates and smooth visuals. With great power comes more energy use. The RTX 5080 Ti is expected to have a total board power TBP, of around 360 watts. This means users won't need a very large power supply, a 600-watt PSU should be enough for stable performance. However, good cooling will still be important to manage the heat produced by the card. NVIDIA's Deep Learning Super Sampling DLSS, technology has been a game-changer for gaming performance. The RTX 5080 Ti is expected to support DLSS 4, the latest version of this technology. DLSS 4 uses artificial intelligence to upscale lower resolution images, providing high quality visuals without the performance hit of rendering at native resolutions. Additionally, the RTX 5080 Ti may include other AI-driven features, such as improved ray tracing capabilities and enhanced image processing making games look more realistic and immersive. The RTX 5080 Ti is a graphics card that sits right in the middle of two other cards in the RTX 50 series, and it helps to compare them so we can understand it better. First, there is the RTX 5080, which is strong and great for high-end gaming. It has 16 gigabits of superfast GDDR7 memory, 10,752 CUDA cores that help it work quickly, and a 256-bit memory bus that helps move data fast. Then there is the RTX 5090, which is the most powerful card in the series. It has a massive 32 gigabits of GDDR7 memory, 21,760 CUDA cores, and a huge 512-bit memory bus. This one is made for people who want the very best performance, like for playing games in 4K or creating 3D designs, 
Now, the RTX 5080 Ti is right between these two. It gives you more power than the RTX 5080, so games look better and run smoother, but it doesn't cost as much as the RTX 5090. That's why it's a great choice if you want strong performance without paying a super high price. It balances speed, power and price, making it perfect for gamers and creators who want something better than the 5080 but not as expensive as the 5090. The RTX 5080 Ti is expected to be really good at doing a lot of cool and powerful things. First, let's talk about 4K gaming. That means playing video games with super sharp and clear pictures four times clearer than regular HD. This graphics card has fast memory and a lot of it, so it can play these games very smoothly. Even when the game uses special lighting tricks like ray tracing, the RTX 5080 Ti can still keep the game running fast and smooth. Next, it's awesome for content creation. That means it helps people who make videos, do 3D modeling, or work on big art or design projects. If you're editing a video or creating something cool in 3D, this card helps everything load faster and work better, so you don't have to wait a long time. Finally, this card is also great for AI and machine learning. That means teaching computers to learn and think, kind of like a brain. Because the RTX 5080 Ti has lots of smart parts inside, it can help scientists and tech people train robots or apps to do smart stuff like recognize faces, talk like a human, or find patterns in data. So overall, the RTX 5080 Ti is not just good for games, it's also really helpful for people who create, build, and teach computers to be smarter. While NVIDIA has not officially announced the RTX 5080 Ti, rumors suggest that it might be unveiled at Gamescom 2025, which typically takes place in August. If this is accurate, the card could be available for purchase shortly after the event. As for pricing, the RTX 5080 Ti is expected to have a starting price of around $1,499. However, due to high demand and limited supply, actual retail prices could be higher potentially reaching up to 2,500 in some markets. While we await official confirmation from NVIDIA, the RTX 5080 Ti is shaping up to be a formidable addition to the RTX 50 series lineup. Its combination of high memory capacity, powerful processing capabilities, and advanced features like DLSS 4 make it an attractive option for gamers and professionals alike. As with all rumors, it's essential to take this information with a grain of salt until official details are released. However, if the leaks are accurate, the RTX 5080 Ti could be one of the most exciting graphics cards of 2025. So that was all about the RTX 5080 Ti. Thanks for watching.